Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. As always, I appreciate you so much for being here either way. Today I have five kids lunch ideas for you. Let's get into it. So on this first day, I used one of these vegan chicken sandwiches. I just heated that up a bit, added some mayonnaise to the bun with a, like a quarter, I guess, of a sliced piece of cheese, and then a couple of pickles, and then I wrapped this in aluminum foil just to try to keep some of the heat in there, but honestly, if it wasn't hot, I don't think she would have even noticed, and if it wasn't, she didn't notice because she didn't say anything, so... <laughs> Um, with the chicken sandwich, we're just putting some of these flavor blasted goldfish on the side. And if you notice, I have these sliced pieces of apple soaking in the measuring cup. This is just a mix of water and lemon to keep the apples fresh. I've added some peanut butter in the container and I did swirl that around just to give it a test to make sure that the peanut butter isn't going to come out. It did stay in very well. Added those apples in there. They soaked for maybe five minutes, I think just while I was preparing everything else and then I just got this little container and added some of these little candied nuts for a sweet treat and that does complete that day's lunch super simple and then of course we have our juice box and that completes day one on day two I did these little skewers for the skewers I don't even know where I got them from to be honest I think they came in some kind of kit that I have at home but what I added to these was I took turkey, like sandwich turkey, and broke it up into smaller pieces and then folded it over so it stayed on the skewer. Added some sliced cheese, and this was just regular sandwich cheese, and I quartered it. And then added some grape, grapes and turkey pepperoni. And then I just did that, I believe, two times on each skewer. She really enjoyed these. Um, she did not finish them all at school, but she did enjoy them. And I actually did those three on each skewer. I do believe probably one skewer would have been fine, honestly. And then I just cut those grapes in half, just in case. With this, we're having a little lettuce salad. If you've watched my other videos, you know my daughter is just a fan of lettuce. And so your kid might like more than just lettuce. So feel free to add those cucumbers, tomatoes, and all that other good stuff. Maybe even some cheese. She won't even take cheese on her salad. And with that, I added some cheddar flavored veggie straws. And the best thing that I found for these skewers was a plastic bag. I could not find any reasonable size Tupperware that these could fit in and still have room for everything else in the lunchbox. So the bag worked out fine and then they fit perfectly there. And that is just like a, oh, I will put it in the description. I believe it's a sandwich size bag, but it could be a little bit bigger. The school, they were actually on the school supply list this year, whatever those were, and she needed one of them. So I just kept the rest of the pack at home to use for lunches and such. But I believe that does conclude this day for lunch. Besides, we did add a sweet treat. I was looking for what the sweet treat was. <laughs> we just had that little container of donuts at home, so... Just, they're very small donuts, as you can see in that container, very small. And then with the juice box, and that was it for that day. And then for day three, we did just super simple, just a regular old turkey, cheese, lettuce, pickle, mayo sandwich with some grapes and a little piece of chocolate there, some goldfish and a, another little donut. She really loved those, so I figure get let's get rid of them, use them up anyways, get the sweets out of the house because I don't need them around me, right? No, I'm just kidding. And then juice box. Super simple day. It was like a really fast, busy morning, so I didn't get a chance to show you guys every part of the process, but at least you got to see it. And then the next day we did these I did these little baby pickles she actually requested this day's lunch she asked for the the salsa cheese chip dip lunchable from the store and I said I'm happy to make you 
that type of lunch, but I'm not going to buy that little lunch bowl. And so I did a little bit of taco sauce in that small container, and then in the bigger container I put half salsa, and then the other half was the salsa con queso dip, the cheesy dip, cheesy salsa dip, I guess. And that's what she had, and she loved it. She asked for seconds when she got home, and then I paired that with a mandarin and a piece of caramel chocolate. I know you guys probably see these caramel chocolates a lot, but my kids are a huge fan of them, and they're super easy to just pop in there. In the lunchbox are a sweet treat, and my smaller kids have one every now and then as well. So that does conclude that day's lunch. And I was able to actually film after she got home what she still had in her lunchbox. I didn't get to do that all week, but I will start doing it more in the future. If that is something you would like to see, please let me know down in the comments. But as you can see here, she ate most of her orange, um, almost all of the one of the pickles, and then all of the cheese dip, of course, almost all of the salsa, all of the taco sauce, all of her chocolate caramel candy, of course. And when she got home, she asked for seconds of that, so it did go off really well. On this next day, we did two Hawaiian rolls. I did one peanut butter and jelly, and then one turkey, cheese, mayonnaise, pickles. So just like a regular sandwich and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then with this, I did send potato chips. I do not always do, do that. And potato chips, I, they're just an, annoying, an annoyance for me, to be honest, because when they're in our house, Someone has always asked me for potato chips, and we can't eat them all day long, kids. But then I put one of the Go-Gurt tubes in the pouch here, and then added some grapes to the little container and some M&Ms, and that does complete that day's lunch. Super simple, super quick and easy, and I think I'm going to start getting the tubs of yogurt to put in those. So, as you can see, all of the chips are gone, shocker, most of the yogurt, half of each of the sandwiches, most of the grapes, which was a nice surprise to see, all of her little M&Ms, and all of her juice box is gone, and then she also ate the string cheese when she got home, so, afternoon snack. Pretty good appetite and spilled yogurt on the table, that's my thing. And this was the last lunch of the week. I thought this was super cute. I was super proud of myself. <laughs> but I put some almond butter, some a little bit of turkey. This is a string cheese cut up into small pieces. And then I soaked another apple and put it in there. Some orange, M&Ms, a little bit of crackers and juice. She actually did not feel well on this day. Um, she said her nose was hurting and her head was hurting. So I think maybe some allergies going on there. And then... So her brother and sister actually ate this when she got home. <laughs> but what I did was I put that paper towel and then her ice pack over top of it. And that kind of held everything in place. I wasn't sure how this was going to go. But she came home and everything was actually really st still good. I mean, it held up very well. So I was happy with that. And then this is just the large Sistema container. And I do... I, thought you guys might I actually put lids on those little ones by the way it didn't stay like that but I wanted to show you guys that container it's pretty big pretty open and that does conclude our lunches for the week I hope you enjoyed these ideas hey if you made it this far thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel and join our little growing family that we have here I will post my other kids school lunch videos at the end of this one if you haven't watched those yet but have a good day, guys. Bye.